write the following system of differential equations in matrix form. We have x1 prime equals x2 and x2 prime equals 1 half x1 minus 2x2 with initial conditions x1 of 3 equals 4 and x2 of 3 equals negative 2. To write in matrix form, we want to write the vector equation below using matrices, where the vector equation is x prime of t equals p of t times x of t plus f of t, where p of t is a matrix valued function, and x of t and f of t are vector valued functions. Notice how there is no x1 variable on the right side of the equation x1 prime. It might be helpful to rewrite that first equation as x1 prime plus a zero x1 plus x2, and then because the second equation already has x1 and x2 in it, leave the second equation unchanged. Notice on the right side of the equation, there are no terms that are only functions of t, and therefore the vector valued function f of t is equal to the zero vector, and therefore we do have a homogeneous system of differential equations. To begin, we write the left side as a two by one matrix representing the vector valued function where the components are x1 prime and x2 prime equals on the right, we need p of t, which is, which is the matrix valued function times the components of the vector valued function x of t. Looking at the right side of the equations, because we have zero times x1 plus one times x2 from the first equation, the first row of p of t is zero and one, and then in the second equation, we have one half times x1 minus two times x2, indicating the second row is one half and negative two. And then we have times the vector valued function x of t, which has components x1 and x2. So now we do have the system of differential equations in matrix form. And now let's work on the initial conditions. First, we write the left and right side as two by one matrices. We could stop here, but it's more common for the equation on the left to replace the vector value function with components x1 prime and x2 prime with just x prime or x prime of t, and also replace the vector value function with components x1 and x2 with the vector value function x or x of t. And then for the initial conditions, we can also write those as the vector value function x of three equals the two by one matrix with entries four and negative two, which represents a two-dimensional vector. I hope you found this helpful.